The personality approach assumes that consumers consume brands because they contribute to their construction and expression of identity. The managerial focus of the personality approach can be derived from that assumption. The primary and most important task for the brand manager in the personality approach is to understand the mechanisms of identity construction that consumers use the brand for and be able to translate them into a brand personality that delivers value and relevance for the consumer. This is why theory in personality approach focuses on how giving a personality to a brand can enhance consumers bonding and the interaction between consumer self and brand personality. The effectiveness and success of a brand personality hence depends on the extent to which management is able to give the brands with a personality that is attractive, relevant and enhances consumers creation and expression of self. This process follows a series of steps. The very first step in the process of formulating managerial implications is to know your target audience. People play different characters and display different personalities as per respective environment they are into and context they are considered into. Hence, it goes very important to know the type class and context of people one is going to target. Second step in this process is about assessing organizational internal potential to align the personality programs. A strong team know their potential, display their strength and consider it as a center of research, planning and implementation. Step 3 is about scanning the internal strength and target group identity programs and find aligned, differentiated and attractive aspects to base personality programs. Step 4 is about assessing the actual existing status of identity and personality of the target group. The existing values consumers live play critical role in the overall process. Step 5 is to know the desired identity of the target group. The associated emotions behind the desired state of consumers influence the personality programs. Step 6 is about analyzing the existing and desired states of consumers identity and assessment of traits needed for effective transition. These traits play major role in the process of development of brand personality. Step 7 is to uncover social and individual levels of consumption of brand personality. This step is very critical as it involves personal and social lives of consumers and assess the role of brand personality play into. This step is to know whether consumer consume brands for their individual construction of personality or for their social expression of personality. Step 8 is about applying relevant sources and formulating a brand personality which is very much aligned to consumers identity construction programs. Generally, in B2B businesses, direct sources of brand personality play a major role like employees, CEO and other stakeholders of the company. Whereas in B2C setting, communication platforms, advertisement, events and other points of contact are in major role. A brand personality is created through a cyclic interaction between the brand and the consumer. To master this process, is not easy because it requires deep insight into consumers identity construction and how this process lay the grounds for consumers motivation for the consumption of brand personalities that will assist them in their construction and expression of self. This insight must be used to create a coherent personality through a wide range of brand activities, ensuring that brand personality statement is expressed in all the behavior and communication of the brand.